to look at. On Friday, they'll defend home court against the Memphis Grizzlies. And then on Saturday, they'll be matching up with Chris Paul and the San Antonio Spurs. And, and Kevin, I think you have to look at this as an opportunity to take a step forward. Sometimes tough road trips can bring the best out of a team and bring you closer together. So let's take a look at the Charlotte starting lineup. The guard spots filled in by Paul and Miller. Nick Richards out there with Bridges, and it's Green in at the small forward. And for the Rockets, at the guard positions, Van Vliet and Green. The post pair form, it'll be Smith and Shangun. And it's Brooks in at the three. Bridges shot, good. And this season still very young. Greg, what are you looking forward to this year? Well, Kevin, I'm always interested in the rookie. Seeing which guys step up, the leap to the NBA can be a huge one. So you never know what will happen with some of these young players. And so the Charlotte Hornets get the first points of the ball game. Clock is at three. Smith for three. The rebound by Richards. Not quite enough defense. That time around, just lucky he was off. Miller kicks to ball. Green passes to Bridges. Charlotte moving it around. Van Vliet against ball. Green with the rebound. You're not going to see that very often. Plenty of space, but he just, let's face it, he whiffs on that one. Pass to Brooks. There's the three. Great play by Green to set it up. Brooks not shy about firing a weapon that he continues to make these jump shots he's taking. Here's Bridges. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. One thing you know you're going to get from Bridges, he can really score. That has never been a problem for him. He's always been able to put it in the basket. He's got a really good feel and stays in attack mode when he's on the offensive end. And that one falls for Bridges. One thing this team likes about Miles Bridges, Greg, he plays a lot. He's always there. And, and Kevin, on a couple occasions, Bridges has been near the top in minutes played. He's got that strong 6-7 frame, and it holds up well over the season. All free throws good from Bridges. And that's the norm for him. He's pretty much automatic when he's at the line. Shengun with a screen on ball. Van Vliet can't get it to go. Outside, Green. Back to Bridges. Top of the key, ball. Rockets with the rebound. The latest now from our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David, it's all yours. Take it away. Hey, Kevin. I caught up with Coach Ime Adoka. In talking to Coach, he discussed the hidden talents of LaMelo Ball. Coach said he's still a young player in this league, but we can't take that lightly. We've seen what he's done to soft defenses. We need to be physical. So we'll see if that defense tightens up for them. Guys? Thank you, David. Just another day doing what he does. Van Vliet lines it up and drills it. And timeout is called by Charles Lee. He wants a minute here to get things straightened out with his team.
and taking a look at some numbers for Van Vliet. Last season, he played outstanding. Last season, put up about 17 points per, eight assists and four rebounds. And you talk about guys who just have a nose for putting up points. He is one of them. Yeah, he sure is, and he rarely has back-to-back -back bad games. If he has an off night, he usually follows that up with a big night. And here in the first, approaching three minutes played on the wing, Bridges. Outside, ball. And stolen by Shangun. And here comes Smith, leading the fast break. Pass to Van Vliet. Back to Smith. Green against Miller. Shangun with a screen on Miller. Just five on the clock. Shangun, no good. Those are chances. Almost always you can rely on him to get you two points, but the D just enough to keep him out of rhythm. Now, here's Bridges. Ball up top, covered by Van Vliet. And he makes the bucket, gets the whistle, and now a three-point play chance here for him. You know, possessing outstanding height at his position, Ball excels at using that size and his body control to convert through contact. Clark, the 2021 Rookie of the Year, LaMelo Ball, and the only thing holding him back now is his health. It certainly is, and it's unfortunate because he's a talented, fun-to-watch player. He's already missed a bunch of games early in his career, but he is the total package as a point guard now. Great length at 6'7", and I still think he has MVP potential. It's a matter of can he stay on the floor. One thing about LaMelo Ball, he can really take over at times, Greg, when he's healthy and playing well. And a lot of that is just his feel for the game. He processes quickly and then has the talent to execute. It's pretty hard to stop him when he's in the flow. Three-pointer, Brooks, good. And it's Shingun picking up the assist. The guy who shoots freely at the perimeter, Brooks, can do real damage from out there. On the wing, Bridges. Back to ball. Charlotte moving it around. Bridges a screen on Green. Miller against Green. Here's Bridges. And it comes off the front of the rim. You know, you'd like to see a little more effort there defensively, but maybe they wanted him to take that shot, baited him into it. Got himself into a really good position there. Can't pass that shot up, guys. And to look at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for the Rockets. You know, so far in this one, these guys have been knocking it down from distance. You've got to like their confidence as this game continues. They're on a nice roll. And I've really liked how they've moved the ball tonight. Because of this selfless approach, they are piling up the assists. Free throw drop for Smith. In recent seasons, the Charlotte Hornets, Clark, have been very active in the trade market. Well, it seems like they're always wheeling and dealing. I mean, they're on a quest for that perfect fit lineup, moving pieces around, trying to find the right recipe for success. Now, here's Ball. Really had an off game against the Pacers. Never really gotten to his rhythm. Deadly in the pick and roll. The mellow ball can do anything out of that particular set. This time, calling his own number. Poke loose. Smith against Bridges. Here's Van Vliet. Excellent D there from Ball. And so it's Ball who brings the ball up for Charlotte. Trailing by two. Stolen by Brooks. Shoots from 12. Houston with a new 14. Miller against Green. Another miss by Houston. Hornets have gone 50% from the field, hitting three of six since the opening tip. On the wing, Bridges, headed by Green. He gets that one. And that makes it a tie ball game. And nice mechanics from Miller there. Ready to fire as that pass was coming. Van Vliet against Ball. Van Vliet passes to Shengu. And here is Green. Shot clock at six. Shoots the three. Another miss by Houston. 
Hornets have gone four of seven from the field, shooting over 50%. Bridges dishes to Green, and Charlotte turns it over again. Now we get a chance to check out LaMelo Ball, coming off a terrific season. Fifth in steals, and he ranked in the top ten in assists. An incredible knack for drawing defenders and finding the open man. And as you pointed out, he was top five in steals last season. Just a lethal combination of great physical ability and an acute mental preparation. Now here's Van Vliet. Pass to Shengun. Shoots over Richards. And Shengun gets it to go on the assist from Van Vliet. And we've seen several lead changes tonight. Neither team giving it. Yeah, and the lead has changed hands, and it just hasn't stayed in those hands very long when it's changed. Back and forth we go. And timeout is called by Charles Lee. He wants to check in with his team and regroup. Shepard's checked in for the Rockets. Now here the 2K leaderboard with last season's top rebounding teams. The Rockets fourth. Well, I tell you what, they never eased up on the boards throughout last season. I mean, they were tenacious. They persevered. They were aggressive. I mean, they went after the boards hard. On defense, the Rockets... Back to Green. Looks for Miller. Gets it to him. Six to shoot. Charlotte needs to get a shot up. For three, Bridges. Shengun with the rebound. Rockets have gone 5 of 12 from the field since the opening tip. Shepard the pass to Van Vliet. Now Shepard. He's covered by Ball. Shengun with a screen on ball. I pose Shengun shoots over Richards. And here is Ball. He has six. And once again, off the mark by Charlotte. Brooks feeling it out a bit. Pass to Van Vliet. Off target with his three. And he's been way off the mark this quarter. It's been ugly. Green finds Richards. Now, here's Ball. There's the drive. Miller with a wide open look. That falls. Nice feed that time from Ball. Miller's got his second basket of the night. A huge reason Miller went so high in the draft. His three-point stroke. It's exactly what you want in a wing. Here's Shengu. The rebound by Richards. Richards got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Not really his best quarter as far as scoring. Let, let's see if he can eventually get back on track. Now, here's Ball. Miller outside. They set the screen. His three-pointers off the mark. And you don't want to give up that kind of look too often. Ball 
against Van Vliet. Back to Smith. Brooks outside. Kangoon inside. He's against Bridges. Clark looking at the growth and skill set of Shengun, he could be special. I agree 100% partner. He's got an instinct for the game that you just can't teach. The passing, the ball fakes, the pace at which break. he plays, it's all there. Two Feels seconds. like he could have the same kind of development trajectory as Jokic. We'll see. The free throw dropped for Shangun. Incredible for his age. The decision making of Shangun GA is very impressive. So calm when he sees a double coming. Reads and reacts with ease when he's on the block or at the nail. Reminds you of a young Jokic with how he sees the game. Tari Eason's checked in for Smith. Shangun hits them both. Tell you what, Alperon Sengun is a big with the modern day game. He scores in bunches inside, but he also can pass it and shoot it from the perimeter, too. Bridges shot good. Yeah, they're getting a lot of their points outside the paint. Three of their last five baskets are from three point range. And with an update from the sidelines, let's check in with David Aldridge. Kevin, the Rockets are making progress. Coach Umu Doka said it doesn't happen overnight. Changing habits and things like that takes time. Guys learn and grow at a different pace. My thing is getting us all on the same page. We're not that far off. Kevin, they sure look like they're building in the right direction. David, they are, and some good vets have helped as well. And we thank you for that report. Green, he's checked in for Houston. Amen Thompson comes in for Fred Van Vliet. Shengun with the screen for Thompson. Pass to Shengun. That's in, coming off the assist from Thompson. Shengun's got the game tied up here for the Rockets. Last outing for Charlotte was a loss to Indiana. Outside Curry. Now Richards. Miller outside. Lock at six. That's good, and he's now three for four from the field. And so it's Thompson with it. He'll bring it up for the Houston Rockets. And it's Thompson with the jam. And he's got rocket ship like takeoff. Thompson can flat out fly. Miller, the pass to man. Back to Miller. Fires for three. It's rebounded by Houston. Yeah, they got that one, but early on, it's it's really been a struggle for them to secure that defensive backboard. And because it's still early, I wouldn't read too much into it. There's still a lot of game left. Now here's Thompson. His last outing, he had 18 points. Curry against Green. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. And you know, Seth Curry has that shooter's mentality which makes defenses uncomfortable. And that's part of how he gets these calls. The free throw drops for Curry. G.A., if you look back at the Rockets' history, so many all-time greats have spent time there. Yeah, it's an impressive list, right? Olajuwon, Moses Malone, Calvin Murphy, and Harden. Houston's well represented in the Hall of Fame. Catching up on the changes for Houston. Jacques Landale comes in for Shangu. And Cam Whitmore's subbed in for Brooks. You know, Greg, one thing you notice, and we were just talking about this with the Hornets in recent years, a lot of changing lineups. And you expect that with the team, with where they're at. They're looking for any advantage game to game and trying to build that identity as a franchise. Now, here is Miller. His last outing with 20 points. Bridges kicks to Miller. Out left of the wing. 
Thompson against Ball. Oh, that's blocked. And they get it back. Shot clock at two. Here's Curry. Unable to get that one. Great D that time from Green. Pass to Landale. 29 seconds left here in the first quarter. Can't cash in from close range. And already they staked out a noticeable advantage in terms of aggression and controlling the backboard. And the trend they'd love to continue right through the next three quarters as well. Green taking his time here. Three pointer. The shot, no good. And so the first quarter is in the books. Hornets lead by five. And we'll be back shortly for the start of the second quarter. And for those of you just tuning in, the second quarter of action is where we're at right now. And when you consider how Charlotte is doing, guys, what do you think? Aggressive at running guys to the backboard. You could tell it was part of their game plan coming in. Yeah, and you know, when a team establishes an edge on the glass early, it really sets things up for the rest of the game. Rockets trail by five. Thompson and Green are the guard pair. Ridmore is out there with Curry. Oh. Once he takes flight, Green can make some incredible moves in the air. Awesome display of athleticism captured by our AT&T 5G Slam Camp. Charlotte's gone 4 of 8 tonight from three-point land, shooting 50% on the three ball here. Outside Curry. Pass to Williams from deep. Eason grabs the board. And he didn't punish them for the weak coverage there, but they can't count on him to continue missing. There's a screen to the middle. Got a piece of it. Taken away by Williams. And here's the fast break. Paul leading the way. And it's good. Two points. Ball's got the lead up to five now for Charlotte. Boy, you look at Ball, and I really think he excels more in the open court than he does in the half court. And the wide open shot from Green connects from three point range. Green's got five points now this quarter. One of the things you've got to admire and respect about him is his aggressiveness at the offensive end, always in attack mode. Williams passes the ball. Back to Williams. No good on the shot. A bit long that time. That's one he knows he should have drained. Thompson inside. Guarded by Kirk. And Thompson kicks to Green. Six on the shot clock. Over Martin. That misses. Had a chance to tie it there. And so it's Ball who brings the ball up for the Charlotte Hornets. Curry outside. That one falls. His second basket of the game. He's now two for three. You know, the staple of Seth Curry's game is shooting the ball off the catch. Out to the right wing. Eason gets a wide open look. That's in. Coming off the assist from Thompson. Eason's got himself on the board with three there. Charlotte has gone five of ten from downtown tonight. 50% exactly. Outside Williams. Pass to Mark. Outside Curry. Williams, a screen on Thompson. Curry outside. Rockets with the rebound. Green's got his fourth rebound in this one. And here's Thompson. Clark, obviously, this is a results league for head coaches. And we're always going to see lots of changes at that position. I think you're exactly right. I don't necessarily agree with it all the time. I would like to see owners and general managers and decision makers be a little more patient, give coaches a little more runway. But 
We know it's a results oriented league and oftentimes the reality is that it's easier to change one Shoot coach two. than it is perhaps to change a handful of players on a roster that's not performing. And the first one drops. He makes one of two that time. You know, Clark, the Rockets have done a good job building a young foundation to this roster. Yeah, I like what they've done, Kevin. They made big strides last season, and it's a team that's really growing up right in front of our eyes, and there's no reason that they can't continue to trend their own. Houston's gotten both of their three-point attempts to go down here in the second quarter. They get it back. It has been nip and tuck through the first half. Exactly, guys. The way it's seesawed back and forth, unbelievable. Ball with it, picked up by Thompson. Ball feeling it out a bit. Tries the spin move. Eason grabs the board. Eason's got his fourth rebound in this one. Pass to Thompson. Back to Green. Thompson outside. To the inside. And the layup's good off the glass. And it seemed like they couldn't get anything to fall in that opening quarter, but you can just feel the momentum starting to shift. Yeah, things are starting to look up. I mean, they're making amends for that slow start. Finding a rhythm right now. Again, ball missing. The scoring efficiency has been low, and it's not helping them on the scoreboard. Here's Green. And no good. Trying to use the glass. Hornets trail by three. Curry with it. Picked up by Thompson. Curry against Thompson. Curry passes to Williams. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. That's on Jalen Green. Williams very physical as a player so contact doesn't bother him at all. The Hornets shooting their sixth and seventh free throws in the game. First free throw is good. Clark with the Hornets they were hit with injuries as hard as any team in the NBA in the 23-24 season. Kevin, I couldn't agree with you more. Um, they were so unfortunate in that regard, and it's not anything you can control, and it made it almost impossible for them to have a productive season because of those injuries. And both free throws good for Williams. And Clark, the Rockets just one of a handful of franchises to win back-to-back -back NBA titles. Can you believe that, Kevin? It was roughly 30 years ago that the Rockets did that, led by Hakeem Olajuwon, perhaps the best player in the league at that time. Of course, this was while Michael Jordan was retired from the NBA the first time. Charlotte trailing. Here's Curry. Eight points his last outing. Williams sets a screen for Curry. <laughs> And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. And as far as the three-point shooting goes, uh, a weakness, no doubt. They're in the bottom third of the league and really a disappointing season for them from beyond. Throw good Curry. Jalen Green's checked in for Shepard. Charlotte also making some changes. Miles Bridges, he's checked in for Grant Williams. Miller comes in for Martin. And it's Trey Mann in for ball. And both free throws good for Curry. The Rockets trail. Outside, Green. Oh, 
Here's the three. The rebound by Richards. Richards got his sixth rebound on the night. Pass to man. Bridges against Smith. Now, here's Bridges. Defense right on him. Just five to shoot. Over Smith. And he buries that one, drilling the rim on the way down. Bridges has got nine. You know, we've seen Bridges knock down threes, but I think this is his sweet spot at 15 to 19 foot range. Shengun finds Van Vliet. Shengun with the screen for Van Vliet. And Shengun throws it down. It, it really does make the game easy for your teammates when you can lead them to the rim that well with a pass. And timeout is called by Charles Lee. This will give him a chance to discuss some potential alterations. The mellow ball, he's checked in for Trey Mann. You know, these are the guys you need to be aware of. If you don't want your pocket pit, <laughs> here are last season's steals leaders. Number five is LaMelo Ball. He showed such tremendous defensive instincts. Trust me, nobody wanted him guarding them last year. Charlotte has gotten into trouble with the three ball in the second quarter. Now hitting one of five attempts. Miller kicks to Bridges. Wobbed up there for Miller. Up high to stuff the alley-oop. And offensively, Miller is terrific on the perimeter, but he can also play above the rim as well. Van Vliet passes to Shengu. Van Vliet can't get it to go. Charlotte leading by three. Down low and stolen by Shengu. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions right now. They need a basket. Van Vliet. He can't hit that time. Excellent D there from Ball. He's been ice cold tonight. And, you know, you look at the scoreboard guys, they really could have used this contribution. Here's Bridges. Outside for Curry. Pass to Ball. Down to five on the shot clock. Goes up on the wing. Hawkins with the rebound. No other way to put it. Just a poor shooting performance for him. But luckily, his teammates have picked up the slack. Smith the pass to Green. From deep, Brooks. They get the rebound. And Shingun throws it down. Fighting to earn the second chance opportunity on the foul shot. This is exactly what Coach wants from Shingun. Now, here's Bridges. Nine points in the game so far. Miller outside. Rebound by Smith. And it's Smith with the ball. He brings it up for Houston. They trail by one. Clark, we've all heard the comparisons. Brandon Miller plays a lot like a young Paul George. And you know it makes a ton of sense when you consider that Paul George is Brandon Miller's favorite player. So he spent a bunch of time studying how PG gets it done and putting those moves into his own book bag. And here is Curry following Fred Van Vliet's three. And that one's good, Richards. High basketball IQ on display from Curry there, making a quick pass. 
Houston's gone 6 of 14 with the three ball tonight. Just a little over 40%. Smith on the wing. Pass to Van Vliet. Here's Shengun. It's rebounded by Charlotte. Richards got his eighth rebound here tonight. And the rebound battle split evenly thus far. Yeah, tit for tat on the glass. Just one more aspect of what's been a very closely contested ball game here. Now, here's Green. Last game with 30 points. Bridges against Van Vliet. It's blocked, and they'll get another chance. And here's Green outside. Yes, and it's Smith with the assist that time. Green's got eight points in the quarter. That's the second long-range bomb in the quarter after a slow first period. He is on a roll. And here we go. Van Vliet heading to the hoop. And that one, good. And now a five-point Houston lead. And it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just great ball movement. Back to ball. Inside, here's Richards. And it's blocked by Shingun. Look at how Shingun attacks the ball. Doing all he can to reel it in. You know, maybe he's not one of the elite sharpshooters, but even still, that's not a shot that D can afford to give him. Now, here's Shangu. Coming in off a 21-point game, his last outing. 149 left to play in the first half. For three, Van Vliet. Miller grabs the miss. And the great shooters know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice on that possession. And it goes out of bounds. Last touch by Green. Okay, let's take a look at Alperon Shingun. He's coming off an excellent season. Averaged 21 points a game, nine rebounds, and five assists. And you can't downplay the importance of good size off the bench. <laughs> Space Invader, a big guy who simply holds his ground and makes opponents work around him. That's good stuff. Yeah, gets a finger on it, but just can't quite come up with the steal. Clearly a careless pass. He got away with one there. 130 left in the first half of the game. Bridges a screen on Brooks. Five to shoot. Miller. The kick out to Ball. And it's the Hornets, another three. The defense must honor Ball's three-point shot. He's more than ready to snipe away if you give him the opportunity to do so. Smith outside. Back to Van Vliet. That one doesn't drop. Excellent D there from Ball. There's 42 seconds left in the first half of basketball. All you got to do is get open, and Ball's handling the rock. He's going to find you. Lamelo's got incredible passing ability. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. Oh, Van Vliet. He had 15 points last out. Houston needs to get a shot from deep. Brooks and Curry pulls it down. Well, it looks like he's cooled down a bit after hitting those two in the first quarter. Here's Ball. Good, and Curry gets the assist. Ball's got the lead up to five now for the Hornets. And he should thank the team for those two points. Nobody paid much attention to him on that play. And that'll do it for the first half. A competitive game so far. Hornets on top. As they go on a 10-0 run to end the period. It's the NBA on 2K Sports from Toyota Center.
Welcome, one and all. Before we hear Kenny and Shaq's insights on that first half, let's look ahead and check out the upcoming schedule. Look here now at Charlotte. Like most teams right now, they're optimistic. We'll see how they handle the first couple of games. Yeah, everyone starts out undefeated. It is a hopeful time of year for everybody. And now breaking down the first half we saw, what can you say about LaMelo Ball? He's putting on a show. They keep feeding him and he's getting after it. Once you let him get comfortable, tough to slow him down, Kenny. Yeah, especially when you slow down the word comfortable. You actually seem better defense at times, but he finds another way to get it done. Thanks for spending halftime with us. Time to get it back out to Kevin Harlan for the start of the third quarter. And after a fairly even first couple of quarters, the second half could turn out to be a great one as both teams try to gain an edge. Nice game. Great performance so far by LaMelo Ball. Man, he's been running wild on them through that first half. Absolute dynamite on offense. And you know what? I'll be interested to see just how much he's got left in the tank. That first half had to take a lot out of him. It's trailed by five on the court for the Hornets. The guard spots filled in by Ball and Miller. Miles Bridges is out there with Green, and it's Richards in at the five, roaming the paint. And they were one of the NBA's top five fast break teams. Not many were better on the break than this group. And, and you just mentioned it. What a year it was for them on the glass. The sheer effort and energy they put into their rebounding was tremendous. The free throw dropped for Shangoon. What I like about Shangoon is how versatile he is. I mean, especially as a passer. Shangoon hits them both. Hornets leading by three. Miller outside. Back to ball. Good. And Miller gets the assist. Miller's got three assists tonight. Ball showing a lot of effervescence on the offensive end, and it's probably infectious for the rest of his squad. Here's Green. A teardrop falls in. Green's got 10 points in the game. And it's all about the release when you shoot the floater. Charlotte's gone outside a lot tonight. 17 times, in fact. 7 of 17. On the wing, Bridges. Covered by Smith. Shot clock at 6. Bridges misses. The defense did a really good job of choking off the middle there once he got inside. It's rebounded by Charlotte. Richards got 11 rebounds in the game. And now we've got some time to check in from the sidelines. You got for us, D.A.? Thanks, Kevin. Alperin Shangun is a weapon on the block. Coach Ime Udoka said there are not a ton of true low-post threats in the NBA nowadays. Joel Embiid, Jokic, I don't know how many others there are anymore. Alpi's had success against pretty much everybody that's guarded him. Kevin, his footwork is indeed high level. DA totally agree. Great footwork. Moves on moves, I've always said. He doesn't take a lot of time to make up his mind. Brooks always thinking ahead, and he's in position before the pass is made. Now here's Green. He has yet to score. Richards passes to Green. 
Out of bounds. Houston takes possession. And so Van Vliet will bring it up for the Houston Rockets. Brooks outside. Smith the pass to Van Vliet. Shangun with the ball. Six to shoot. Two free throws coming up and they call the shooting foul. Hey, when Shangun gets the ball inside, good luck trying to stop it. He'll punish you down there. The Rockets have put up good numbers at the charity strike, converting six of seven. Yeah, and, and fairly decent a season ago, about 77% from the line. And he can't get the first one. Second free throw, no good. The game has been very close in a lot of areas, but rebounding has been the one differentiator thus far. We've seen it time and time again in games. Effort and determination on the glass can make up for a lot of other weaknesses. And I like that they're not settling. Getting the ball on the interior, eight of their last ten coming that way. Sometimes you just got to man up and take a tough foul in order to stop these free runs to the rim. Now, here is Smith. Here's Brooks, and he converts the layup. Brooks has got 10 points in the game. A slight bump on that play. Brooks just kind of shrugs it off. Well, Clark, we hear a lot about the antics with Brooks, but he deserves more attention for his play. I agree, especially on the defensive end, Kevin. He's one of the top perimeter defenders in the league, and some of what his antics are flowing out of is his competitive spirit. I still think he needs to tamp down the annex because that does take away from what he does, which is lock guys up and play with great competitive spirit all the time. Shen Goon finds Van Vliet. And some nice passing there by Houston. Good! And it's Shen Goon picking up the assist. Shen Goon's got three assists in the game. And so it's Charles Lee calling timeout. He wants to make some adjustments to the game plan, clearly. Take a look at the numbers for Green. How he did last season. Last season, he averaged eight points a game, three rebounds, and two assists. And there isn't much to write home about with his numbers. I think he'd like to up his contributions. Yeah, but you got to earn that chance. I mean, you get what you earn. His numbers are fine, but he's not going to get a lot more floor time unless he turns it up a notch. Sure. 
outside ball. Green with a screen for ball. Pass to Miller, and there's the call. It's going to be an illegal screen. You know, guys, sometimes that just happens, but you don't like to see it when the game is this close. The Rockets have gone 4 6 from the field since the start of the third. Outside, Green. Van Vliet kicks to Brooks. Pass to Shengun. In the corner, Smith with it. Good, and the assist goes to Shengun. Shengun's got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. Hornets trail by three. Miller outside. Ball against Van Vliet. Richards. That one goes. Count it. Richards got six. Yeah, LaMelo relishes every chance he gets to drop a dime like that. Van Vliet passes to Shengu. Pass to Brooks. Green with a screen for Brooks. Over Green. The rebound by Richards. Richards got rebound number 13 with that last one. Van Vliet against Ball. Count the basket and the foul. And Van Vliet picks one up. Man, have they been effective at getting the ball inside. I tell you, we're taking a look at some real deficiencies defensively. I mean, they've given up five straight good looks in the paint. Find the lane. Find the lane. One shot. Free throw off from ball. You can just see the promise ball has. It's oozing out of him. Already a triple-double threat. And he rebounds it so well in this position. Man, the future's really bright for this young man. And some stats here, guys. The scoring breakdown for the Hornets. The way they've been able to consistently get past the defense and to the cup has been most impressive. They've almost made it look pedestrian. And also, they are working the opposition from the mid-range, continuing to fire away with confidence from there. That one is off. And he's taking care of the hard part tonight, which is getting to the line. But, but he hasn't finished the job once he gets there. Second free throw, good. Yeah, look, you'd like to take the lead on that possession, but he, at least he was able to tie the game up. Miller outside. Back to ball. Lock at six. Pass to Richards. No, I tell you what, he earned his money on that foul. Yeah, if you're going to foul, then make sure that you don't give a chance for the and one. For Charlotte, they have gone 9 of 10 from the line, so making the most of their chances. Shoot two. And he makes the first. Richards drops them both. Really always a plus to have a big guy stroke it from the line like that. The soft touch on full display. Pass to Shengun. Up again. Bridges with the board. 
Bridges has got his fifth rebound in this one. Here's Miller. Now Richards. Van Vliet outside. Jangoon with the ball. Houston moving the ball around. Smith kicks to Shangoon. Green dishes to Brooks. Here's Shangoon. Bridges with the board. And, and he has definitely been struggling in this quarter. You know, guys, it seems to me as though he's over anxious. He seems to be pressing, trying too hard, moving too fast. Just needs to calm himself down and wait for good shots. Now, here's Ball. One points in the game. Pass to Bridges. Tries it from the top of the key. And the Hornets miss again. Tell you what, that is a missed opportunity from mid-range for sure. With as little defense as was shown, should have made that one. Now here's Green. Ten points for him. Shengun with a screen on Green. Let's it go from deep. Green, no luck. Charlotte in the lead. Pass the ball to the paint. Looks for Miller. Gets it to him. An emphatic alley-oop jam. Miller going upstairs. He loves to make the crowd say, ooh-wee. And timeout is called by Ime Yudoka. And coach has decided they need a moment to talk things over. And the Rockets making a change here. Shepard's checked in. And then for Charlotte, Curry's checked in for Green. And it's Trey Mann in for Ball. Rockets trail by four. Pass to Shepard. And bleed on the wing. Defended by man. Here's Shepard. Back to Shangoon. Another miss by Houston. Early on, he tried to shoot his way out of this funk. But later in the game now, he might want to just give it up and look for his teammates to do the score. Now here's Curry. He's got 10. And the three ball is good. At the arc, Curry's so consistent. I mean, he'll knock it down every chance he gets from there. Van Vliet outside. Down low. Here's Shengu. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. He's simply just willing himself to the line here. Rockets have converted 7 of 11 free throw attempts up to this point in the game. And the first one at the line is good. Cam Whitmore, he's checked in for Houston. The Hornets also with a sub. Ball's checked in. Oh, 
That one misses, so he goes one for two. Here in this second half, they've gone cold from the line, and I think it's hurting their chances. They get it again. It's Curry outside. And that one is off. It's trailed by six. Whitmore with it, and Curry picks him up defensively, and the shot goes in. Yeah, heads up aggressive play right there. Saw the smaller man on him and took it straight to the bench. Outside Curry. Pass the ball. Goes up and lays it nice and easy. Ball's got 23. And now you see them starting to really work the ball inside. Now Shepard. In the corner, it's Van Vliet. On the clock. Smith for three. Good, and Van Vliet gets the assist. Van Vliet's got four assists now tonight. Boy, you could see the focus on Smith Jr.'s face right there. I mean, he wanted to make sure he cashed in on the three-point shot. Now, here's Ball. He's got 23. Shoots over Van Vliet. Ball with the bucket. Ball's got 12 points in just the second half. And of the last six baskets, five have come on the interior. This is just smash mouth physical basketball, guys. Here's Shepard. And let's check out stats for Bridges. Coming off a terrific season. Put up about 21 points a game. Seven rebounds and three assists. And, and really just excellent numbers. I like what we've been seeing from him across the board. I do too. I mean, he's playing with much more focus now and a much higher level of intensity. First free throw is good. Great Kentucky native Reed Shepard followed in his dad's footsteps and stayed local for his college years. How cool was that? His dad winning two national championships for the Bluegrass State was named the MVP of the 98 college tournament and he even had a brief stint in the NBA. Reed, the third overall pick of the 2024 draft, blazing his own trail. Well, Reed Shepard's shooting consistency and on-court smarts give him a strong foundation as a player. But adapting to the league is never easy. It, it takes time and a lot of work. Now, here's Ball. He's guarding closer, and he banks in the layup. Ball's got 27. They're getting on a roll inside. Their last three field goals have come from the paint. Pass to Eason. Here's Shepard. He's covered by Ball. And the basket is good. Got it to go through on the contact. So a free throw coming up. A great opportunity for a three-point play. For Houston, they have had 15 tries at the line. They've made 10. Jock Landale's checked in for Houston. We got this. We got this. That one misses for Eason. Charlotte leading by three. Curry passes the ball. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. And ball really confident even amongst the big fellows inside, which is why he's able to draw these fouls. He shot two free throws in the game, made one and missed one. Shoot two. First one falls. You know, we all know about the flair and sizzle to the metal ball's game. The highlight reel plays, all of that is great, but I also like the fact that he's got great length at the point guard position, which presents a lot of problems at both ends. That one misses. And so it's Thompson with it. He'll bring it up for the Houston Rockets. 
Eason with a screen for Thompson. And the basket is good, and he's got a chance here for one more at the line. We see this night in and night out. Thompson uses his size and elevation to make tough shots in the paint. Martin's checked in for Brandon Miller. That free throw good from Thompson. And Court watching a man Thompson. He is just a different kind of athlete. He sure is, boy. Special as an athlete. And we've got some of the greatest athletes in the world across the NBA. He's smooth. He's explosive. He's fluent, well-coordinated. Seems like he just kind of floats in the air. It's special to watch him do his thing. Green, no luck. Charlotte's gone one of three from downtown since halftime. Curry against Green. Curry kicks the ball. For the three. Good on the triple. Ball's got 18 points just in the second half. Watch out. Now that he's got his first three of the half, there might be more in store. Green with the ball. Fires the three. Buries the long-range jumper. Green's got 13 points. The wheel come at us, and we're coming right back at you. A little back and forth from long range. I love it. That's a terrific answer there. LaMelo Ball getting it done for the Hornets. And his big game just keeps getting bigger. That quarter sees him get over 30 points. We'll return shortly. And with these teams locked in a very close contest, this fourth quarter promises to be a good one. Charlotte in the lead. We've got Shepard. Cam Whitmore is out there with Tari Eason. Then it's Thompson, and it's Landale in at the center, locking down the middle. So that's who's on the floor for the Rockets. And, you know, even though they're on top, they're winning. I mean, they could use more from him trying to shut the door on this one. Thompson outside. Easton passes to Shepard. Here's Landale. And two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the content. He's off on the first. You know, it's been a bad day for them at the line today as a whole, and far too often, that's the case for this team. That one drops. He ties it up. And here are the Hornets now. After this game wraps up, they're off to Atlanta where they'll take on the Hawks. And that's the final game of this five-game road run for the team. Martin finds Curry from outside the arc. It's rebounded by Houston. And here's Thompson. Pass to Eason. To take the lead, Curry brings the double. Back to Thompson. There's the screen. Four on the shot clock. And he takes that one up and powers it through. And those plays can make a difference in a game like this. <laughs> well, you know it's going to fire up, Greg, everybody on that bench. Making a statement for sure. I mean, we'll see if they can maintain that aggressive approach, guys. Williams trying to break free. Thompson outside. All sorts of time. Rebound by Williams. 
Well, they'll be happy with that look, even though it didn't fall. You know what? That's a confidence shaker for him, though. I mean, that's a shot he expects to make every time. Paul. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. That one on Thompson. Hanging tough. Ball does not let the foul stop him completely. And a chance for just a second to check out the scoring breakdown for the Rockets. Well, you know, throughout this game, they've shot the Take ball break. extremely Take well from downtown. Two Their shots. shooters are getting open and letting it fly. And another thing, guys, they've dominated on fast breaks tonight, outrunning their opponent the entire game. That's good from Ball. Charlotte making a switch here. Diabate's checked in. Ball oh, hits them both. The Rockets shooting around 41% on the night. Here's Shepard, guarded by Kerr. Shepard, that's good. And the Rockets lead by two. Showing how tough he is. Shepard doesn't get rattled by the physicality. Outside Kerr. Drills it from outside. He's putting on a commanding performance here. He's hit two three-pointers in each half now. They set the pick. Here's Thompson. Pulled the shot a little up, but the bounce goes his way. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Well, I agree with you. Four of their last five baskets have been exactly of that variety. Now, here's Ball. Back to Curry. Pass to Ball. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Already in his career, we've seen the numerous ways in which Ball can score. He's got a lot in his package. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That's good from Ball. Green, he's checked in for Shepard. Ball hits them both. Third minute of action now gone here in the fourth. Thompson outside. Pass to Landale. Landale controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. And the Rockets lead by one. Boy, right down to the wire here. Still anyone's ball game. Yeah, and after all the energy both sides have expended, both teams still hungry for the win. Now, here's Ball. Can't hit from in close. Green with the ball. And Curry picks him up defensively. Back to Green. Green draws the double. Houston moving it around. Whitmore finds Thompson. There's the pick. There's Green with the three. Sinks the triple. Now it's a four-point rocket lead. Boy, I think they've lost their intensity. I mean, the defensive pressure is lacking this half. Back to Curry. to Gibson and it's Gibson finishing it off impressive agility in these pick and roll sets it's hard to get out of that screen really quickly Gibson has a nice feel for where to roll to now here's Thompson outside green from downtown offensive rebound Whitmore with it Six to shoot. It's stolen by Curry. Out to the wing. Ball from long range. And it's Whitmore with the rebound. 
Rockets have gone five of eight shooting as we've come down the home stretch in this final quarter. Charlotte's gone one of three from outside the arc since we've reached the fourth quarter. Pass to Salon. Outside Curry. Now, here's Ball. Over Whitmore. To tie it up. And Ball with the lay-in. Ball's got it all tied up now for the Hornets. They'll take that. I mean, but I think he still's got to find other ways to contribute having missed four or five shots this quarter. Going inside. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Taj Gibson picks one up. Yeah, way to play in attack mode and get to the line. And, you know, the defense gets their money's worth on that foul, stopping the layup and not giving up the and one. And he makes the first. Houston making some changes. Jabari Smith, he's jacked in for Tari Eason. And it's Fred Van Vliet in for Whitmore. Good on both. Here's Ball. Pass to Bridges. And here's Miller. He's covered by Thompson. The putback. It's rebounded by Houston. Landale's got his seventh rebound here tonight. Smith outside. Back to Van Vliet. Let's it go from the wing. Good. Nothing but net. And the Rockets lead by four. And, and offensively, they seem to have turned a corner. Yeah, I don't know if it's coincidence or not, but a much better half since they changed hoops. And they're really looking strong here. Now, here's Curry. Outside, ball. Shoots over Van Vliet. From 16 feet away, he cans it. Ball's got 39. He's flipped the script here in this half, shooting a much higher percentage from the field. Thompson in the post. He's against Miller. Thompson misses. And so it's Ball with it. He brings it up for the Charlotte Hornets. And it's slammed in by Bridges. Such an athletic guy. Bridges just hammers it down. Rockets are gone, 6 of 11, since the start of the fourth quarter. And we've got a timeout called from Ime Yudoka. Wants to make sure everybody's coordinated and intent. Ken Goons checked in for the Rockets. Dylan Brooks comes in for Amen Thompson. It's time now to hear from our Hall of Fame reporter, David Aldridge. What's the latest, David? 
Thank you, Kevin. During the last break, got to listen in on Ime Adoka's huddle with his team. And told him he liked the way they were working, but he said we have to really get after it. All we need is a couple of stops. Keep your focus. We'll see if they can close it out. Kevin? Thanks so much, David. Ball against Van Vliet. Pass to Shengun. Brooks with it. Just five on the clock. Right side green. It's rebounded by Charlotte. Curry's got four rebounds in this game. Outside ball. And here is Curry. Bridges outside. Here's the screen. And off the front iron, and in it goes. Boy, he's been a rock of offensive support so far, and when they've needed a basket, they've turned to him. Van Vliet against Ball. Outside, Green. Screen by Shengu. They grab their own miss. Green finds Van Vliet. Shengu with a screen on Ball. Hands it from downtown. Green's got 19 points. He's showing no signs of letting up here. Charlotte trailing. Here's Curry. Ball from long range. It's rebounded by Shengun. Shengun's got rebound number 12 now. Tenacity on the glass. Here's Green. Plays it up off the glass. And it's a three-point Houston lead. It's as though Green always has more left in his tank. He digs deep and finds the bucket. Bridges outside. Pass to Richards. Great defense that time from Shengun. Rockets leading by three. Outside Green. Brooks outside. Smith outside. Six on the shot clock. There's Green with the three. The rebound by Richards. Hornets trail by three. Now ball. Here's Bridges. Excellent defense there from Smith. For Houston, they've gone 8 of 16 from the field in the fourth, exactly 50%. To the middle, on seven. No good off the back of the rim. Charlotte's gotten just one of four three-pointers to go down for them here in the fourth. Curry passes to Richards. Outside, ball. It's stolen by Green. Here's Smith. Brooks, left side. Outside, Green. That's the free fly. That doesn't go either for Green. And so Curry will bring it up for the Charlotte Hornets. And it's Ball in the corner. Into the lane. Here's Richards. Uses both hands to slam it down. That gives him a double-double in this one. Ten points and 19 rebounds. Oh, an aggressive move and fantastic finish. Mm -hmm. Trying to send a message with that slam, I think. That's exactly how you send it. Two hands and down. Now, here's Shengu. Green finds Van Vliet. Good. Great play by Green to set it up. Green's got four assists in the game. Hornets trail by four. 112 left in the fourth quarter. Ball with the bucket. Ball's got 41. Talk about coming up big. Ball not shining away from these moments. And Vliet on the wing. He's covered by Ball. Van Vliet can't get it to go. Bridges deciding where to go with it to tie it up. Ball no good. What a big possession right here. No doubt about it, guys. The tension is powerful. Curry against Van Vliet. 
And too much time in the lane. They get called for the three-second violation. And timeout is called timeout, by timeout. Charles Lee. This is a huge Smart. moment, folks, in this game. And he wants to be prepared. What do you think we're going to see here? Hey, they do have enough time here if they shoot quickly to get the two for one. We'll see if they try. Here's Ball. And timeout time is called by Charles Lee. Pivotal moment in this game. He's not taking any chances. He'll call time. In terms of strategy here, any thoughts? Big chance here to tie it with a bucket. A critical possession, no doubt. We'll see what they draw up. Thirty seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. He lobs it up and stolen by Shengu. And they foul intentionally. They're going to have to do that now again and again. They're not in the penalty yet. Yeah, that's right. No other option but to foul and hope for some misses. Yeah, they have to extend the game. I mean, plain and simple. Use every second you can on the clock here. And the replay demonstrating once again how aggressive that defense was. Reads the play well there and gets himself in the air at just the right time. Terrific deny. And they go to the intentional foul. free throw is good and that makes it a three point lead the second one is good Getting both at the line and it's a four point ball game and those free throws will mean a ton now it makes it a two possession game ball from long range 
Shengun with the rebound. And they foul intentionally. That's what they have to do at this point. on the first and that puts them up by five. And he is unable to get the second one. Stolen by Brooks. And so they foul intentionally. First one drops, and that increases their lead to six. So he gets them both, and it's a seven-point game. So Houston wins it. It was up for grabs right until the final seconds. Yeah, and for me, Kevin, what stood out is just the overall trust this group has in one another when it matters most. Doing what had to be done and to send these fans home happy. And that'll do it for the first game of the NBA season. For Clark Kellogg, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan along with our terrific 2K sports crew thanking you for tuning in. And now, our player of the game, Alperin Shangun.